All right, a huge resonations update dropped yesterday. I'm going to quickly go over everything that got added. So first of all, the Hyperant revamped all borders across Asia. Which means, yeah, that's a lot more files. Second change, which is pretty big, I would say, is new leaders. So basically, you can recruit leaders to give a specific box. Some required for you to be, a, you know, a specific ideology, others don't. So for example, let's hire this industry master and boom, I have this leader now, which you can also level up. And I'm guessing that also just upgrades the buffs. And as you can see, it costs political power and also costs political power to maintain. And there's also, um, there's also this new military readiness. It basically tells you how ready your military is for war. And you know, it gives you specific buffs or debuffs for that. And there's military leaders, which basically are the exact same as political re leaders, but, you know, for military. Next up is the revamp government spending. So, in economic laws, you have now way more options for spending. Instead of your normal taxation laws, then you have military spending. You also have government spending, which gives these buffs, security spending, education spending, healthcare spending, and research spending. Next up, we have capture zones. So, so if we go down here, we can create a capture zone. Let's, for example, just select this zone on Taiwan and create a capture zone. Taiwan, boom. This is now the capture zone. So, if, if I were to declare war on Taiwan, I can now with auto capture select this capture zone as I just created, and that should just take the style specifically. there we go and now the hyperend also added this new siege alert button and if i select it this should notify me when these troops siege the city yep you can now set a minimum strength of units to for auto capture basically if units get damage below that strength the auto capture will cancel there is now a scroll ball here and you can cancel troops spawning troops the same goes for buildings you can now also assign keybinds for your military groups. So for example, if I create a military group, I can assign a keybind and I'll do one. There we go. And now let's put these two units. There we go. And now if I press one, these two select, these don't, because this one is not in the group. Another quality of life improvement is just clicking a flag in the score section, it will select all cores of our country. Shift clicking on tiles will now actually keep the, the the selection so if you, for example we have the city selected and a shift click it's like this one this one this one this one that's very nice i love that and uh, you can now select a specific assigned to navy group assigned to aircraft group and assigned to ground group this is really good because it used to be that you can only assign to one and there is an ability to toggle the earth's textures which is right here and yeah Next up, attackers can actually finally damage naval units. And now communism and socialism actually get penalties to population growth, which is actually really interesting. And a nerf. And there are now higher buffs for higher stability. Now, uh, there is a new feature which is called dynamic flags. Basically, the flag will change for specific countries if you go into a specific ideology. The current three countries are Australia, Argentina, and Algeria. So let's try this. Socialism and yeah. And yeah, this is the Algerian nationalism flag. There is also seven new policies now, which are Africa Substitution Act, Computer Advancement Act, Purification Act, Isotope Research Act, Mass Construction Act, Power Generation Act, and Transport Act. There are, there are also now new skins in the game for the Roman Empire, Japan World War II, UK Modern, and an infantry model to the Soviet World War II. There are also now new models for new models for Default China, India, Soviet Cold War and World War II, and United States Modern and World War II. There are a bunch of new releasables, for example, India has 12 new releasables. There we go, 7 for Indonesia. 4 for Burma, 3 to Malaysia, 2 to Nepal, and 1 to Sri Lanka, Vietnam, Thailand, Philippines, and Papua New Guinea. There is also a bunch of new added formables which, can, which you can see on your screen right now and one formable that got removed. And now there is a completely new me mechanic called missions. For example, 
it's basically semi formables but not at the same time here we go this is it so you can see you don't get cores you have to have at least 60 percent stability and you get more stability political power and popular war support for a year and yeah that should be everything in this new update if i miss something um let me know in the comments and i'll that comment probably and yeah sorry for not uploading